came here with a team from CMA, Zoo Tampa, UF, and FWC. We all worked together. Uh, it took us a little while to try to find the manatee. Sometimes that's the case. There's four separate ponds that are all interconnected. But sometimes on extreme tides from either tropical type uh, force winds or, or uh, storm surge, and sometimes that water level gets high enough for a manatee that's passing by up to the spillway to pass over and get in, into the system. Unfortunately, sometimes those conditions that allow the animal in don't happen again and the animal becomes entrapped and that's why we have to come out here and remove it. We identified it, we were able, we able to get it into a smaller pond and then we worked uh, using our nets and, and some john boats worked on trying to corral it into a corner where we could uh, catch it and, and pull it out of the water. Uh, let's go back here. And then uh, once you pull out of the water, we hand it off to our medical team. Whenever an animal such as this one gets trapped behind a natural barrier as a result of high water or a hurricane, it provides us with an opportunity to look at that animal from a whole different perspective. We do health assessments on populations to try to get an idea of what's going on during certain times of the year, and that's usually the winter time. So we're really prejudiced about what we might be finding because we're doing it during cold weather. That'll be an indicator of what the animals are doing in this area at this time of the year, since it's rare for us to actually do a health assessment during the summertime. We put it into a Zoo Tampa transport truck and took it to Bicentennial Park and released it back into Safety Harbor. Thank you.